In my last video, I built this 555 based uh, diesel fader kit from eBay for lead acid batteries. And uh, we looked at it on the oscilloscope. And what we noticed there was that with this length of wire that I've attached, we were able to get spikes of about three volts over the lead acid battery voltage it back into my battery and the theory is that that it was 1.75 kilohertz I believe and that should help desulfate or maintain clean plates in my battery. Now the original intention for my last video was to build this 555 based um, desulfator and compare it to a better known branded product. And uh, the branded product that I chose was this one. It's the Battery Extra. And this is a British made product uh, available uh, worldwide though, I believe from the manufacturers themselves. And this is the EX01-12150. Uh, and I believe the 12 means it works only on 12 volt batteries. And the 150 means those batteries can be up to 150 amp hours in size so that's perfect for my particular battery bank here in the shed but when i originally tested this um, i couldn't see it doing anything to my battery so i contacted battery extra and said i think i might have a faulty unit and a few days later it was a bank holiday weekend they've got back to me and uh, well they've sent me an interesting picture and here's that image now, and it's obviously a screen grab from an oscilloscope here, uh, which was taken back in June of 2013, so presumably the product hasn't changed in the last few years. And it's running at 8.7 kilohertz here, and this is the wave. We see a short, very short peak, and then presumably this is the normal battery voltage here on the zero line, and presumably this is in AC mode. And then we see this interesting dip in the battery where the uh, where the voltage of the battery is dipping to below its normal level before that peak again but the most interesting part of this uh, picture here for me is the left hand side which is uh, showing zero and then it's 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and it does suggest that's volts here on the left hand side scale so we're talking about 250 millivolt peaks there and uh, well roughly the same almost 300 millivolts on the negative part of the wave very interesting and we can see the wave now on the oscilloscope we can also see that my battery sat at about 12.33 volts the uh, strobing on camera there uh, isn't happening in real life quite handy to have a voltmeter on your desulfator i guess uh, although it will consume some energy itself the on-off switch next to it does not turn off the LED, in fact it's a low voltage disconnect. Another handy extra, I guess, with the battery extra, so if your battery level goes too low, the battery extra will switch itself off entirely. But what we're interested in is what we can see on screen. The uh, probe here is set to AC mode, so this level here is my battery voltage, 12.33 volts. So we can see a short positive peak and then a negative voltage here slightly. So the uh, battery voltage is being dragged down slightly and then shoots up. And we can see the frequency is 8.88 kilohertz. But rather worryingly, we can also see that the uh, scale set to 20 millivolts per division. So we've got 20, 40, 60 not quite 80 millivolts on that peak there and the peak to peak is reading at 86 millivolts between this point here and uh, this point here so that's rather worrying considering all my previous comments about three volts not being enough well 80 millivolts is way off then and just to prove what we saw on this 555 based desulfator here, uh, exactly the same mode here, 20 millivolts per division. Um, the frequency is all over the place because we can only see one wave. So if I start to adjust the uh, um, parameters here, we can see that this 555 
based um, desulfator has a voltage peak to peak of 2.96 volts it was showing there and a frequency of about 1.6 kilohertz so the pulses are much slower but they're also quite a bit higher now to be fair to the battery extra the cable that comes with it is very long um, I'd say it's almost a meter long and uh, if you remember when I built my own I made the cables quite short and quite thick but even then we were seeing three volts uh, peak going into the battery terminals at the actual terminals but we were seeing much higher voltage here at the uh, output of the desulfator so if I chopped these wires would we see a much better um, result with a much shorter wire so to be as fair as I can I've made uh, the wires just about the same length here on the battery extra as the uh, do-it-yourself 555 desulfator kit so with the battery extra now attached with shorter cables again now uh, we're back to 20 millivolts per division here on the oscilloscope and we are seeing an improvement 100 millivolts in total between this lowest point and the highest point now it does explain in the description of the ebay auction that the battery extra was developed to fully clean both the negative and positive battery plates of all the sulfate crystal buildup without the need for damaging high voltage spikes so thank you to all of those who comment on my video the general theme of those comments on the 555 desulfator video seemed to be that the higher the voltage spikes the better but it doesn't seem the manufacturer of the battery extra agrees with that philosophy. I'm not completely sold on desulfators. I think keeping your batteries well charged and not allowing them to be left discharged for too long probably has a more positive effect on battery life than adding these devices. However, I am prepared to believe that using them to rejuvenate tired batteries may well work. So the stage is set, isn't it, to find three sulfated batteries and run some tests. Now, I do have three batteries that came out of the same system that haven't been charged for nearly a year. And, uh, well, on the 20th of June 2016, this one was nearly at 13 volts. I wonder what it's at now. So please do comment below. I'm really interested to hear your theories on which type of device will work best. Hopefully you'll also be able to click that thumbs up button and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.